With gas prices hitting a new record high today, some economists are warning the ripple effects of higher prices on shipping and travel could weaken the overall U.S. economy. We get more now on this from CBS's Errol Barnett. The war in Ukraine continues to push fuel prices across the U.S. to record highs. I don't even think $100 is going to get me half a tank. The national average jumping eight cents overnight to 4.25 per gallon, 60 cents higher than last week. The recent U.S. ban on Russian oil will keep pushing prices higher. It's disappointing news for rideshare drivers nationwide. A couple months ago, it cost me like uh, 35, 40. Right now, I'm doing 65, 70. For Uber driver Babacar Manning, waiting outside Washington's Reagan National Airport, it's taking a toll. It's hurting so bad because you can't make anything. The fares remains the same, but you're spending more on uh, gas, so it eats up from our wallet. Air travelers are also feeling squeezed. Jet fuel costs up more than 50% since the invasion prompted Alaska and Allegiant to cut flights. And airfares are higher everywhere. Prices this week are already up 20%, and they're going to grow higher. At least for the next foreseeable future, airfares have nowhere to go but up. It is frustrating for Lizette Rivero, a registered nurse in Pennsylvania. It was really hard. Her original plan to take her grandson to see family in the Dominican Republic might now be on hold since ticket prices have doubled in recent weeks. It's changing a lot of things because everything is going up, so we have to do what's best at the moment. Now, since these prices will only continue to creep up, AAA advises that if you want to save a little bit of money, make sure the tires on your vehicle aren't underinflated. That, they say, can decrease gas mileage by up to 10%. And if you plan to fly at all this summer, the best advice on that front, Jerika, is to purchase those tickets as soon as possible. All right. Any way to save? Thank you, Errol.